Hello guys, I am Azhar Jamal. Guys, in this session we have already discussed VBScript from introduction to variables, from there, from there to conditional statements, and now we are we are in a discussion of loops. So let so now let us um, discuss what we did on the previous session. Let us recap that. Let us recap what we did in the la last session in the loops introduction. Let me open the agenda of what we have covered. We covered three questions in the last session. What are loops? Why do we use loops? What are the different types of loops available in VBScript? So in the loops are nothing but if we have any sequence of operations to be performed repeatedly in a sequential manner, whether they whether if you want to perform similar kind of code or or a, a same code, then we use loops. And we also discussed what are the different kinds of loops available in web scripts for loops and do loops. So for loops are two types for next and for each. So this is a for next loop. Let me just save that. And for each, I have already told you, we'll discuss in the later parts where we come across the collections. So this loop will be helpful to get the each and every object from a collection. So we'll discuss that later. So in do loops, we have two types, do while and do until. Do while we have discussed that it will execute till the statement, till the condition is satisfied. This was an example we had. Do until it will execute till the condition is not satisfied, right? This was example. So now, let us come back to today's session. In today's session, we will see more of for loop with simple basic examples for us to understand the loop in depth. Let us see the flow chart of how the data flows in the for loop, how we can execute the loop, how the variables are being iterated in the loop. So let me open a for loop. Flow chart. So this is a VBScript for loop flowchart. So in any for loop flowchart, it will be same. Whether you take um, any language like Java, like different programming languages, a flowchart, a syntax will be same. A flowchart will be same. Syntax-wise, it will differ from language to language. So this is a basic flowchart. Flowcharts as it is, it is very simple. From start to start, um, let's see the flowchart by the way. So let us start the flowchart of um, for loop. In the initialization phase, here we initialize the value of a variable. And will assign the value of a variable by a, we will make a condition so that loop 
will iterate to a certain amount of iterations and we can get the expected result so condition will make us make the loop whenever the condition is true the loop will execute uh, repeatedly when the condition is false the loop exits so here so condition is true then the count is updated so if i let us take i as a variable and giving the condition i should iterate up to 10 if i is equal to 1 i am i am giving condition it should iterate up to 10 so whenever the condition is true the count will be updated and this will be continuous process till the condition is true when the condition becomes false the loop basically stops this is a simple explanation in a flowchart diagram of a for loop now let us see few examples to understand the loop more let me close this for chat let me open let me open the code for now so let us see if you let us see a few examples of for loop so let me just print a value let me just print one two and three right so for we have already seen the syntax in the previous uh, session if you want you can just click the i above my right hand side corner you can you will get the syntax of the for loop i'll not go in the syntax now i'll just discuss few topics few examples which will make us understand the loop more so without further ado let us just print uh, let me write an agenda here print one two three like this it should come one two three mm. should it should be like this right one and two and three we have to tell our loop print like that in order to print like that we have to take for i equal one two three let us take a temporary variable let us append the value of i spaces let us append the value of i with space and now it should not so um let me just uh, let me just show you how this is done we have to print just one two one three it is followed by one space two space three so here we have taken temporary variable with temporary variable we are printing the value of i with spaces here so let us give next let us print temp variable so as mm, yes here yeah. let us follow the camel case for example one dot previous let me just double click it now one two three appears here let us see another example to understand more i don't want one two three like this i want one enter two enter three i want this format fine so 
let me copy this. Let me save this example. Let us not dodge this. And let us take another example. So I want eyes enter. So basically this should come in a single dialog box and it should not be side by side. It should be, it should come in the next line. One, one should be in the first line, second should be in second line, third should be in third line. So for, for second example. So let me expand this, sorry. For I equal to one, two, three. Let me take a temporary variable again, temp equal to temp ampersand I ampersand VBLF is a breakage of another line. So next message box. Temp. Let me just save this. Save as for example two dot BBS. Let me just close this. Double click it. We'll get value one to three. Now. Let us take another example where it says, I just want to type, I just want to print even numbers, right? So print, there is, there is, an, there is another requirement, which I just want to print even numbers. So I equal to, even numbers from up from the first 10 digits, right? Print even numbers in first 10 digits. So, so I, what do I do? So I just have to write the program, right? So I equal, I equal to one to 10. Here we have to write some condition to satisfy if I, not two zero then then equal to then equal to temp ampersand i ampersand bbf i want to i want to print in a different line, right? So two should come the first line, four should come in second line, and so on. So if is followed by end if, and uh, next is followed, next is the termination of the loop. Sorry, let me um, expand this. So message box temp. Let us take as an example of. All files for example three WBS. Double click for example. Yeah. Now I'm getting two, four, six, eight, ten. What if you may ask? I have already hard coded a value for I just need a value from the user. I don't want to hard code a value. You might have a question in your mind, right? So let us solve that question. Instead of giving 10 here, let us give n. So that n value of n, let me pass from the user. Input box, I have already discussed input box in my previous sessions. You can go through the playlist. Enter. 
enter the digit where from where from up to enter the digit up to where you want you want to see even numbers you just save this so there will be all the modifications it look will run let us let us not give a huge number because it might not display it here let me just double click it so let me just give 50 let me just click on okay you can see here two four six eight and blah uh like 250 right if you want to give 75 you can give 75 mm, okay sorry just i have to double click it mm, if you want to give 75 always 75 click on okay and you'll get even numbers let us see another example where you can okay so i just double click the gate um let me just edit this what if i want only odd numbers right just let me copy this let me just paste it what if i want to print print odd numbers so the condition only will change if the remainder is not zero then it's an odd number so save as for example four let me click on all files so that i could clearly see for example four from vbs let me save it let me close it so it, it basically asks enter the digit up to where you want to see odd numbers on the subject 50. so the thing comes here from 1 to 49 these are the odd numbers so these are the few examples you have seen to follow in the next session we'll cover a few of the complex examples where we can get from for loop so this will be the end of this video um, let us catch up next time until then bye bye take care